have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field, where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Second and 10. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Prescott looks to throw on first. Left side to Lamb. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. Bulldozes past him. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. 
So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early. A definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already. And now after that completion, they're set up first and goal. Now Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dalton Schultz there to make the grab and the cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive well, the underdog here is showing no fear great opening drive now we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech but i will guarantee you somewhere along the way the head coach said let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today they may be the the team that's supposed to be superior but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. But first down, Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to have it here just past the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Elliott once more. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Scott from the gun on third. Open man lamb. It's complete. 
And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A first down carry by Elliott. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Prescott now. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. A first down throw for Prescott. Pass incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions. But they need a full ten yards here. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, and he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. On play action, Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So the completion good for seven there. And it's a second down. Prescott yet again. And this will be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. The 71 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. 
I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it's good to make it 14-nothing. <laughs> Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Take it in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Play action. Here's Hertz. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Neville Gallimore. The defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five. Well, when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big play there on the catch and run. Get ready, get ready, get ready. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Hurts. Flushed out right. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very on, strong baby. drive Let's as a response. Go. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. sets up to throw it it's caught by Sanders and inside the 20 before he's brought down Come on now, now the Eagles go. will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. Seven yards to pick up there. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. They'll look to throw again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back to throw again. Being chased. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 18. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Complete, Smith has it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now a first down throw, complete downfield. Pushing his way through. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas Goddard, 57 yards. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Charles, that was a heck of a play. It truly was because when he made that catch, he had to shake through some people, right? So that play, to me, a highlight film, that should be accompanied by bass music, right? <laughs> I mean, boom, 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 and he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This is Tony Pollard. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In Let's fact, go. just a yard pass there to the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Elliott going to get it again on second down. There's the stiff arm. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 95 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Six yards left on second down. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. 
They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for Dallas. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to... And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's Sanders, and he'll get this up to the four right about there, and that's about it. They'll get four back there on the run, but now they're looking up at a third and 12 situation. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll go again with Sanders. And they'll get him down up past the 15. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. Now a carry for Sanders. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. But well, now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long, and that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Here's Hurts to throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break go. away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now Elliott. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 129 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats... The 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. 
One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now Elliott. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Second down and goal, Prescott. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The sack by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. And his kick here is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. On second and very short, Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And all the way down inside the 25 before he gets out of bounds. A big play there for Philly. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run. It's Sanders. And down inside the 15 he goes. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Sanders, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Well, you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second and nine, Hurts. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. 
The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. They run with Sanders off the option. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action you. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Prescott on first down. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Brandon Graham, his second sack of the night. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. Then he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now obviously that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold here. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders. His second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles take advantage of good field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, Prescott stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Let's go, baby. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they will talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run for Miles Sanders. And the Eagles take advantage of good field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On second and ten, Prescott. That's caught. It's James Washington. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Meanwhile, Dax throw held in by Washington. Three yards the game there, second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now they got to get to the line quickly. And again, it's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagle 17-yard line. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout. 
and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they could look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.